Hello, this is Gino, and I'm gonna teach you a little thing called bone breaking. Well, not really teach you, just show you, and you do the scratches and get it yourself. So you're really teaching yourself. Okay, there you go. Um, flexing and bone breaking can be dangerous if you are one, too muscled, don't do it. Two, not double jointed. I'm not double jointed either, but I scratch a lot. And three, if you're not warmed up. If you're not warmed up, it's cold outside, a little chilly, you just try to do it out of nowhere, no, warm up and scratch first because you can get a cramp or hurt yourself. Warning. Okay, so now let's start. So basically when you do it, you have uh, multiple different types of bone breaks. You have the eggs bone break, you have the double, bro double bone break to the left, you have the one where you pull your arms all the way back and go all the way around, and you have this, the one that everybody knows how to do, which is the dead arm. Then the dead arm is like this. You're gonna take your left hand, put it on your right elbow, Bend this one down and slowly just start bending it down like this. Now at first you're not gonna be able to go nowhere. So it's gonna be really like sloppy and starting to go that far because your bones, it's gonna hurt. But the more you get used to it, the farther you go down. Once you get used to it, you can take it back, turn it around and do whatever you want with it. So let's try that again. Remember, be careful and scratch first. Five, six, seven, eight, one, Two, three, four, hit. Four counts, try it again. This is the simplest one, mind you. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, on four, make sure you pull it down, four, and out. But you gotta make sure you put it all the way back because you can't cheat it because it won't look right. Another bone break you can do as well is this one. Basically it's you, taking your arm and pulling it all the way around. Now this one, you have to be prepared for it because the first time you do it, if you're double jointed, it's okay. It won't hurt as much, it might not hurt at all. You probably already know how to do it, maybe if you tried. Single jointed, you have to get your muscles used to it and scratch first. So when you do it, you're gonna put your hands like this. See, 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 all right. Right on top of left. If you're using, if you're using your left arm to go out, you put left on right. So right on left, you're gonna interlock your fingers like so. Your middle fingers, put it like this, make them tight, pull up, and when you pull up, slowly go back. Now don't do it all at once when you first try it, because you will probably break your arm, and I don't want you to do that on the internet. So, you're gonna do this. Once you get used to it, you'll get a little farther and pull your shoulder muscle out. And you're gonna, it's gonna look like this. Out. See how nasty that looks? It looks pretty nasty. So when you do that, pull it out. The farther you get, you'll eventually get back here. Now when you get back here, you should be like almost there just to pull it back. Now mind you, when you pull it back, it will hurt maybe a couple of days after because you did pull it out, but it will heal. You'll be able to do it much easier. So it's to your choice. So five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, Four.